tell you that's going. Are you going? Okay. This is a demonstration of the coarse aggregate test with the ASGA by Challenge Technology. We have a sample tube, a measuring tube, and a sensor tube are the primary parts of this. There's an interface box which connects the system to the computer and a program on the computer which will do the measurements for us. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the measuring tube, we're going to set it in, we're going to let it get wet, pull it back out. This is to make the inside of the tube wet and adds weight to it to give a proper measurement when we start doing the aggregate. Now we're going to adjust the water level. There's a line on this tube and we're going to adjust the water level to close to that before we start here. And then we're going to lift the sensor tube out of the water and place it back in nice and slowly. That's your measuring for looking at displacement. Going to start the program now. We're going to enter a file name for this particular test. Then we're going to enter the weight of the sample. We've got an aggregate sample that should be about 1,000 grams. We've measured this one out and it's 999.9. Now we're ready to zero the water level. So you can see there's an indicator on there. We're going to take a syringe and we're going to add water to this measuring tube until it comes up into that green zone. And if you get too much, you can take a little bit out. And you just want it to be in the green area on that needle for zeroing. Now we're going to take our sample and place it into the sample tube. And we're ready to hit start measure. And this will be doing the electronic zeroing. And then the computer is going to tell us that it's time to place this tube in and we'll have 10 seconds to drop the tube in and oscillate it to release the air pockets and the computer then will do the measurement. system is going to take a measurement which will give us a displacement which will give us the bulk specific gravity then it will continue measuring for the next several minutes and take another measurement which will tell us what the absorption values are for this aggregate Okay, we're about to the end of the test. The test takes about five minutes to complete. And you can see that we're coming up, up on the end of it here. And at the end of this test, we're going to have values in these respective boxes that tell us what the SSD is, the volume, and the absorption value. Okay, our SSD value is 2.62, our absorption is 0.227, and our total volume of the sample for 
the calculation was 381.7 cc's. We now can remove the sample and this sample could be tested again by simply doing an overnight drying in the oven and running that same sample again or you could just start go on and move on to your second sample.